international recording legend Denny Zager of Zager Easy Play Guitars and writer of In the Year 2525, the biggest one-hit wonder in world recording history selling over 20 million records. You know the term octave is used a lot of times but they say octaves. I know it's about music but what does it really mean? <clears throat> okay, you can use octaves in almost anything. Uh, you can use it in, um, well, let me, let me give you an example. The quickest way, so let me let you hear it. It's 12 notes, 12 notes of distance. I'll do an octave all the way across here. Okay, now uh, if I should play a G here, I can play down a lower octave. No. This is a high octave, this is a low octave. If you want to match, let's say you're singing. Well, the song's too high for you, or it's too low for you. If it's too low for you, then you have to bring it up into your range. If it's too high for you, you can't reach the top notes. You have to pick a lower range of, of an octave. Okay, uh, when I was working with the du uh, a duel, uh, Zegger and Evans, we always uh, uh, worked in two different areas. There's two guitars on stage. Um, uh, we put one down here, octave-wise, like a C, and the other gu guitar, an octave up. So it gives us a wide range, a lot of color. Um, now, to give you an idea, the area that really helps me in my language, uh, the Zegger style, playing full arrangements, uh, it helps us make the chord structure and the lead line within reach of each other. If my melody line is up here and my chord is down here where I like it to be rich, I can't reach both at the same time. So I use a lower octave to reach and put my melody line down here because my melody line down here is with my rich chords, my G, C, E, A seventh, all the nice rich chords are down here. Keep in mind, an open string chord, as I call them, are always the better chords because they're richer in sound. You're holding down fewer strings, they're richer in sound, they're faster, and uh, a lot of things are going in your direction. Uh, so, uh, on stage, we would always find a middle of the road octave that we could sing well. You get your best control vocally speaking in the middle, not way up here where you're straining, straining or way down here where you can't reach that low. So uh, it helps us become uh, better musicians. It did us way back when, getting the two vocal ranges together. If it was too high for me, I picked a lower octave. Uh, I Some songs I like to strain just a little bit and choose a little bit higher octave. You see how these octaves are coming together now? Uh, in other words, uh, the Zeger system of playing a complete arrangement means that my lead note has to be within reach of my chord structure. Everybody always said, well, you're playing all your stuff down here, which is good, but how do you reach everything at once? It's with octaves that I do it because uh, if my nice rich chords are down here, well then I am going to find uh, a, an octave that instead of playing out here where I can't reach, anyhow, I can only go up to the box here, I choose a lower octave. So the octave is a real piece of magic. It only takes you a couple minutes to get it in your head. Now keep in mind this situation, uh, uh, you hear me play arrangements all the time, full arrangements. 
and you're saying, well, he's doing it down here. Well, I choose to go up here. Sometimes something really high and uh, special effect or harmonics or, or, or what I'm doing. But uh, the octaves really help me do that. So remember what an octave is. It's 12 notes apart. There's 12 notes from up here, way down to here. And uh, uh, it really helps you do a lot of things. So what is an octave? It's 12 notes apart, high or low. You can, I like a middle of the road octave because a, two, a octave that's too high, I can't reach up here. I can only go down to this bottom string as far as low. Uh, when I play a full arrangement, my, I put my lead note up here, Blend, blending notes here and my bass down here. It doesn't just accidentally fall that way. It is a system which I preach all the time. And this system works. A good share of that is an octave. So come back to this video time and time again. Review in your head whether you're singing, whether you want a good middle of the road octave or strain it a little bit, make it have some more punching or you don't want it too low sometimes but sometimes you do want it lower uh, Evans and I when we had the duo uh, we uh, we had a good range in between the one guy was playing way up here and the other guy was playing down here he says how do you guys get such a rich sound such a wide variation and uh, it is with octaves so keep the word octave in your mind and understand what it is when you teach octaves and things like a music lesson to use pitches and tones so you can literally hear it. I could explain all day long, but if you can hear the proof on the instrument, that really helps. It starts getting your ear going. That ear is so important, far more important than reading notes. Reading notes, I suggest following. A good ear leads the way. A lot of people don't look at it that way, but a good musician, I've been a musician since longer, many years back than I want to admit, but uh, over a time you start to know what an octave is. A lot of things like that. It does work. So come back to this video, review what an octave is. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.